All right, guys, so I'll, I'll start this vlog with a, a bit of a disclaimer, this little walk and talk. If you're not really a hardcore fan of the channel, or you've not been watching us for a while, or you don't really know our family and what we do and stuff like that, this vlog won't appeal to you. You just think it's quite narcissistic and um, you're like, oh, what, what the hell's he on about, you know? I appreciate that there's maybe only 10% of our subscribers that, you know, really watch every uh, video and and the content and kind of are immersed in the story of our family the rest just kind of come in and out or maybe you've just been recommended this uh, on a feed or something so first off I'm well aware that um, not everybody knows the inside story of our family and whatnot but I'll try and make this as generalized as I possibly can but I'm also trying to keep it quite specific because uh, today I'm addressing some of the comments and I don't usually do this especially like negative comments I address them in general, but I don't address specific ones. But there's this comment that's been coming up again and again and again. And I think, I think it's important that I address it. Um, here's an example of it here, see. So the, the, the whole theme is that, you know, this person and, and some other people, there's been about five or six different comments on this, uh, uh, kind of in this um, way of speaking. Um, they are concerned that I go on these trips and there's time away from family and stuff like that. And, and at first I thought, oh, what is it? Just haters. You know, it just haters, it trolls. But it's easy to dismiss. When you're a YouTuber, it's easy to dismiss things. Oh, it's just haters or, or trolls. No, not necessarily. Life is yin and yang, isn't it? Like there are, you're not perfect. Just because you're on YouTube, you're not perfect. Like, and, and you've got a take criticism if you're going to put your life publicly you take some criticism and and you look at it and you think well is it just a troll and of course 10 is, is, is trolls like it's just like people they're angry or um angry with their own life that kind of thing but some there's some substance in some some comments and i take my subscribers comments quite seriously um after all you're the ones that are following the journey you're the ones that built this channel not just me um, it took all of us to, to build it, These both of these channels. This is obviously my smaller channel. This is something I wouldn't post on Life in Bamboo. This is more for like Naked Guru. Um, yeah, I wouldn't really put something like this on Life in Bamboo. But um, yeah, I want to answer some of these criticisms because I think that maybe some of it's trolling, but then maybe some of it is just genuine misunderstanding. And so perhaps it's important that I explain to, to whatever extent that I can explain. We've got dogs coming here. Um, about what's going on. So again, if you're not familiar with our family, this will just be like, oh, what's he on about? It's just narcissistic bullshit. So, my dogs are following me here. And let me turn this around so you don't have to look at my ugly mug the whole time. So, I think uh, let's start with like going away. So, some of this is you kind of have to read between the lines. Uh, first off, I'll say that when I go away, it seems like I'm gone for about two or three weeks and I've left my wife and I've left my kids and they're, they're at home like crying and oh, it's so horrible. Um, it seems like I'm gone for two weeks, but actually I only go for about five or six days. And that content, the, that five or six days content is good for two to three weeks. So it seems like, oh my God, he's gone for two weeks, three weeks, he's left his family. So I guess that's the first thing to um, explain is that the content that I shoot is when I leave my wife and family is I shot over a small period of time and then released over a long period of time. And then on top of this, um, you know, what, how does my wife get on, you know, at the farm when I'm gone for these five or six days? And the truth is I hire a brother, so I pay a brother a good rate, a good daily rate, and he takes care of the farm for me. So she doesn't have to do any of that, of course, on the farm. What do you have? Hello, Cap. So So she, obviously, I'm not going to leave her to do all the work on the farm, I have a brother. And the thing that people don't understand often about rural living is, um, there's very traditional roles here, and 
grandma's here and the community's here and her sisters are staying here at the moment she's got all of her sisters so they don't like she don't see the kids as a burden i know some western mentality can be that oh, the kids are a burden it's hard work that kind of thing but when you're my wife that works for herself she doesn't see the kids as a burden they love to spend time with the kids as does grandma as does as do i as does the sisters so i think that's important to note too so the kids are not like a burden for the five or six days that i'm away so what do you cap cap oh don lynn i can't buy don lynn she said where are you going i said i'm going walking time i cap time so planting a, a plant over there it's called lamb yai I, I don't know actually what the translation is for that one i think it's a fruit i think it's a, a fruit that you that you eat obviously so now the most important point of you know why i leave is content and you know if you if you're smart and you can read between the lines then you'll understand that doing youtube i mean how best to say it so on youtube we have different partners that we partner up with so you read between the lines and those activities help support the family so really I, i'm not talking to the majority here because i'm sure the majority of you already know this like you get it you're a content creator so you know you understand the dynamics of youtube i'm really talking to a minority here that either you know just didn't get it um and don't understand how youtube works um or would that were concerned genuinely concerned about my family like and and i get it i understand why you you might be like oh it looks like i'm taking all these trips and stuff but everything that i do my family the most important thing to me in the whole world my kids are the most important thing to me and my job is to make sure that we're, we're okay and i make decisions based on that of course there are nice benefits of taking a little trip as well and me and damo and uh oh there's dogs coming here i better walk back me damo and otis um and hugo are going to be taking a trip to ko chang next together so it's nice to have the holiday as well but most of these trips are done purely functionally and you understand what i mean right if you understand the way youtube works if you don't understand where youtube works like look it up like content creation partnerships things like that uh, some will know that we're partners with surfshark on this channel so there you go so now on top of that there's a trip to chiang rai coming up is a good example um i was invited to go to chiang rai and i said to damo do you want to come she's like no my wife that's, that's my wife for those that don't know she's like no i don't want to come <laughs> uh, why not there's the flight she said, i don't want to get on a flight i don't want to get on a bus i don't want to go to chiang rai with a baby i just want to be here with my mum in the cottage and relax and be peaceful in the nature but i i've got to go because even even though maybe i don't want to go i've got to go because you understand that's the way youtube works and this on this particular trip i can take tis too so that's going to be another example of where i kind of go away and then i kind of get these comments of oh you leave your family you deserted your family that kind of thing now they don't get to me these comments at all because i know what i'm doing and, and our hardcore audience like you guys know the way i think and you know if you've been following this channel for years the way i think and i'd like to think that i'm quite honest on youtube and i'm quite upfront i think this video is quite honest and telling and upfront and real like i'm coming from a place of of authenticity i think um you know a genuine i'm trying to address a genuine concern but um what do you care uh -huh. blue pack ah uh, he's, he's planting his his vegetables so yeah i mean i, I do I, I genuinely do want to address the concern and i think um I think this you know those that understand they understand and so that's how youtube works so chiang rai is going to be on as the next um one means of supporting the family and the farm and the animals and everything else and i think another thing i can mention about thai culture is many thais you know not all but many uh, especially thai girls and women and whatnot they want to be around the family 
they really just want to be around the family. Like it's all about family. They go and work in Bangkok, doctors, nurses, teachers, and whatnot, and they send the money back. Her sister's gone to work in Germany as a dentist, and she sends money back every month. It's all about family, and they, they, her sister's built a house here. What they want to do is they want to be together in the community and the family, and our lifestyle, what we live, the way it is, the dynamic of the way it is, and the things that I do, and the things that we do together as a team. Of course, we talk about all this stuff in depth. We we sit down and we, sit, we decide together what we're going to do as, as a family. All of that supports her being with family and whatnot. Oh yeah, and there's this property here for sale. Take a quick look. I'm a bit gutted actually because this property just went, guys, for... You're not going to believe it. 250,000 baht. I wasn't told about it. But it's this piece of land here and the property. Let's have a quick look inside. Hopefully my camera adapts. So there's a little toilet in the back, some stairs. This is a little concrete house. So there you go, the land and the, and the property just 250k. I know some subscribers that had whipped that up for sure, that they would definitely take that off their hands. Um, shame that I missed it, but I'll keep looking. I'll definitely keep looking. So, yeah, you know, I'm not getting defensive. It might come across as defensive. I'm just trying to give a genuine explanation of why, why I take these trips and and why we de we decide to do the things we do as a family. Um, I share most of my life on this channel, so why shouldn't I share, you know, I'm not trying to justify either, but why shouldn't I just share these, these details, you know? So, hope that clears a few things up. Wife's very happy. She's, she's great. Uh, you might ask her why she's not on this video, <laughs> talking about it with you. Because I know how some people think on YouTube. Oh, she's not in this video talking, talking with you. Frankly, my wife couldn't give a shit, really, about, you know, she don't really want to be on YouTube, even. She, she certainly, she would say, oh, don't explain yourself on this, just leave it, doesn't matter, like, it's a small amount of the comments, don't even bring it up, that's what her advice would be to me, so she certainly wouldn't want to be on the video uh, about it. But then I also feel that I have a relationship with you guys, so not a, a, an intimate relationship don't worry but i feel like it is a relationship there's a two-way communication there's the comments and what we forget on youtube sometimes is i'm actually a real person I'm not just some guy on your screen so i'm a real person and these these comments affect me and then equally you're real people behind the camera you're real people all of my long-term subscribers and members and people that have supported this family through liking and sharing this content and you know, we've got our family's best interests in mind. So I also feel I have a bit of a responsibility to explain things as I go along for those with a genuine concern that maybe my family are like don't like me going away or, you know, or I'm just going away to, for purely fun. Um, no, there's, all, there's always a economic decision uh, behind a lot of the trips. And in talking about economic decisions, we're now talking about the potential of building an Airbnb in the rice fields here, close to us. So we're looking into that. Um, maybe doing a little bit of an Airbnb out in the rice fields. But the problem is there's no electricity out there, so it'd have to be solar. So we've been looking into it. Me and Damo sat, sat down this morning and talked about it. Um, the idea of doing an Airbnb. Because YouTube's not forever, you know. There's... We've got a, we, we're talking about a number of little things, like we're breeding turkeys at the moment, or at least Damo's breeding turkeys at the moment. Pigs are pregnant again. Um, we've always got our cafe idea, where many people already know about that, and if you don't know, I'll show you at the end of this video. So he's got a cafe idea, and then we've maybe got an Airbnb, and then also as a homestay, but we don't really want to do that until we need to do it, you know. And right now, we don't need to do it. So we're always planning for the future on you know, when YouTube, because YouTube comes and goes, technology comes and goes, things um, come and go, and Instagram comes and goes. My, my wife has got an Instagram business, so she sells clothes online, but then there's always a new thing, isn't there? And there's young people coming in and changing it up and doing all that stuff. So 
So we are looking at little businesses that we can do. And obviously one would be opening this place as, a, as our home. The cottage, opening this, this kitchen here as a mango sticky rice cafe. Extending the front and then putting some tables and chairs here and doing the best mango sticky rice in town. So that is another option. We also considered car wash here. So you bring the cars in now, but what's quite funny is it's only a mud road. So Dan, when I suggested it, Dama laughed at me. She's like, what are you on about? She's like, they'll wash the car and then they go out in that muddy road and gets full of mud. So we'd have to do the whole road too. <laughs> but you're always thinking, aren't you guys? So hoping it explains it. I don't want to go into too much more detail than that of why he's leaving his wife. He's leaving his wife. Uh, he's leaving his wife and kids. Um, I think I hope that explains it, you know. I think if you're parents out there, you'll probably understand this better as well. Like if you're parents and you've got kids, if you've not got kids, then you don't, you don't really understand it as well, I don't think. Because when you have kids, you live for your kids. Everything is about your kids. Everything is about like, how can I um, support us in what we're doing? And yeah, be there for them, you know? In, in a way, you're not important. Like I'm not really important. Of course you can have fun, you can enjoy things and enjoy your time um doing these activities and things and part of it i enjoy part of it not because i'll give you an example like my last trip i got on four taxis two buses two really big buses for six and a half hours two planes one minivan and two boats so a lot of what you see in you're doing that in six or seven days a lot of that's just travel going from one place to another it's not really as romantic as one might think because you see the vlog only from the locations. So although I do enjoy parts of it, another part of it is like, oh, this is intense and it's tedious and I wouldn't want to, I don't always want to leave the farm. Here I feel like the farm, the way it makes me feel is a deep sense of timelessness and spaciousness and peace. And then you have a listen, it's quiet, the nature's here. Talking about the nature. We've got a little nest there that's now empty. And we've got a new one that I found today. Saw birds flying in and out of it. I'll have to lift you up with a camera. This ball one here in the corner. I don't know if there's any birds. There's no birds in it now. But there's a little nest. That they've made there. Uh, maybe they feel safe making these nests. I hope so. So then I think my final thought on this is some people will obviously say, you know, some of our friends and long-term subscribers will say, oh, don't explain yourself and don't feed the trolls and don't, um, you don't have to, you don't have to say this kind of stuff or explain what's, what's going on. And I know, I know that, but I think I think there's a tendency on YouTube to just show your life as perfect and uh, only engage with the positive comments, you know, and block everybody with the negative comments and only show the best sides of yourself. You know, I think there's a tendency to do that. And I'm not, I'm not surprised why, like, because a lot of people, when you're honest on YouTube, like, I think I posted the other day about that I suffer from anxiety sometimes because I'm quite public about this because I think it's important to be because I, I think you you paint a false picture if you're not um, that you can't live up to if you're not honest about it and I post you know anxious sometimes and you get you get bombarded with things that how you shouldn't be anxious and how you can cure anxiety and how and um, some things are just a fact of life you know I think I trust people that that are anxious from time to time because they've probably got a deeper worldview. You know, when you wrestle with topics that are beyond the comfortably non-mundane day-to-day uh, -day all of breakfast, lunch and dinner and, um, you know, socioeconomic status and what's on TV. When you wrestle with topics beyond that, it's going to cause you a bit of anxiety. Existential topics of we are, you know, monkeys inhabiting a ball of rock which is floating around, spinning around and um, moving around the sun and... You know where do we come from and what is all this 
there's an element of anxiety that's going to be induced through through that the knowing of oneself i think osho made a good comment on that maybe i'll leave that quote in the description because i can't remember it off off hand so i'll leave that in the description but yeah I, my point is i understand why youtubers sometimes will not admit the negative sides or fallacies because you'll you get stick for it or you get seen as weak or you get seen as ah oh, you shouldn't you shouldn't be that way often by people that actually even suffer from anxiety themselves or have psychological issues themselves they can't um they can only judge the other they can't look at themselves so i understand why youtubers don't but then i also you paint yourself into a picture of your life just great when it's clearly um when you do have struggles and you do have challenges and how many times do we see that with celebrities and stuff you know, like um, all these different celebrities that are on all these prescription drugs and, you know, their life are just completely... You think on the outside everything's going great, but then it turns out, you know, there's all kinds of stuff going on behind the scenes. And so um, I imagine that if, uh, if, you, if you can just be honest about these things... I mean, many do as well. Many go through addiction and then they're honest afterwards about it. Be honest is better because then you've got no, nothing to live up to. So I'm just being honest um whether i should or shouldn't be i don't know even even i think this video will invite judgment because it says he should never he should never leave like you should always be with your significant other i have read comments as well another comment that said um if i left my thai thai wife his wife was thai obviously if i left my wife for that for this long she'd cut my bits off and feed them to the ducks and there's the ducks. So I'll give you some imagistic um, representation. I can't feed them anything right now. But I would say... I would say that that is... I'll take this lens off. I would say that that's pretty codependent. If that's the way you feel. If you can't feel like you can't leave your wife or leave your husband for a weekend to take a trip or go and do something like that, I think it's quite codependent. Or there's a lack of trust in the relationship where where obviously they, they think that you might run away with somebody else or whatnot. So you gotta possess the other. We just don't have that dynamic. Um, 10 years together, we just, we don't have that dynamic. We've always worked this way. We all, each of us has a, we're together, of course. We're in union. We, but we recognize that each other is their own individual as well. Like I like to do certain things and she also likes to do certain things. She'll go to the Cambodian border or go and see her sister and stuff. So the, we have our combined personality as parents, as two people living together on the planet um, in this incarnation. We're sharing an incarnation. Um, and then we have our separate individual identities as well. What, what I like to do, you know, my wife is not into entheogens or working with entheogens or... Um, shamanism or anything like that uh, and i'm not into fashion like she's very into fashion her shop is very bangkok fashiony you know so i can't give it out many people ask me in the description can you send give me a shop she won't allow me to post the shop in the comments because i don't i think she's worried i'll be honest with you again i think she's just worried about pervs you know like um just like pervs going on there because I don't know. I don't want to go there, but <laughs> uh, so we have our own little individual uh, quirk, uh, eccentricities, and the way we are. And and I allow, not allow. Allow is the wrong word. I accept my wife to be whoever she wants to be and do whatever she wants to do. You know, I don't tell her what she's got to do or she's got to stay here or do this or do that, and she doesn't tell me either. I think in the early days that was true, that we did that. We tried to control each other. But once you've been through that minefield in your relationship and you realize you can't control the other or shape the other, your job is to merge together in a yin and yang union and then facilitate a harmonious life for you and, and the children. But that doesn't mean you have to give up your individuality. That's about accepting each other's individuality, not changing each other's individuality. It's not saying you should be this. Because that'll just make you unhappy. Because you've now twisted to become the upon the expectations of the other. You've changed who you really are to 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 be what the other one wants to be, and that won't last. That's like pulling an elastic band back. It's going to snap at some point. 
in my opinion you can't you can't do that uh you've got to it's about acceptance like there's things that in the early days of my relationship i couldn't accept about my wife um in terms of like our communication and certain cultural differences sorry um there were things like that i just couldn't accept and i, I felt like oh this is never going to work because i can't accept this you know she didn't like to party then you know i liked to party i was a musician so but then there's things that she couldn't accept about me too because i was a smoking drinking asshole you know in, in many ways um I've still not last. Uh, I've still not lost the last part. <laughs> I just don't smoke and drink anymore. Um, but she, she couldn't accept that too. But then eventually she accepted it. I accepted it. We moved forward. <clears throat> I transformed in many ways, and she transformed in many ways. But that transform wasn't transformation. Wasn't a process of pushing and saying you need to be different. The transformation was a natural process of coming into harmony and balance. And we still have our issues sometimes. Um, it's not never like perfect, you know, we'll, back in the day, we'd argue once a week, at least these days, once every two months, we'll have a bit of a, you know, but it doesn't go on and on forever. Like in the early days, it used to go on and on and on, you know, big fiery arguments because a lot of youth and stupidity and ignorance and passion there. So, but in these days, you're just like, you've been arguing for 20 minutes. It's like, oh, let's not do that because what does it help in the end? You know, what does... What are we benefiting from it? I'll talk more on this. Um, you know, I'm just trying to give an insight into our relationship. And I, I will talk more on it. I've got a lot more to say about it. And this rant's gone on for quite a long time now. So I'm going to let you guys go. Um, if you get it, you get it. If you don't get it, you don't get it. Uh, and I can't explain it any better than this, I don't think. So... Thanks guys, thanks for liking, subscribing. Welcome new member Bill Clark as well. Thanks Bill and uh, Ken Hoffman. Thank you for um, your support of this new channel on this side, it's a bit different from the old channel and I thank you for your support on the previous channel as well. Um, there's a couple more members as well that I should mention is Rez1QX, <laughs> I can't remember them all, and Stephen. Um, so thanks for becoming members of this this content this content is quite low viewership so ultimately it'll survive on members but I'll do it anyway because these are just daily daily diaries and thoughts and I'll keep doing it keep doing it and I really do appreciate your support of the content whatever it is you know it's um, just to know you've got people backing you and you know there's a lot of people out there that hate you a lot of people that want to see you fail so it's good to know that there's other people that are backing you and like wanting to succeed so i really do appreciate it guys thanks a lot and um hope you enjoyed this rant take care